velocity time graph when there is no acceleration. Case 1. To understand this graph, draw velocity time graph with time on x-axis and velocity on y-axis. No acceleration means the speed is constant. So when we draw a curve with a speed from O as OA, then it will be a straight line parallel to x-axis. So let us take a point B. And now draw a perpendicular from line AB to time axis. at point C. So when we draw a perpendicular from B to C, from this graph we want to find out the distance travelled by the body. We know the distance travelled by the body S is equal to velocity into time. Velocity is represented by V time is represented by t. Now from the graph, the distance travelled s is equal to velocity from b to c is bc, time is oc. Now bc is nothing but oa on the y-axis, oa into oc since bc is equal to OA. OA into OC, if you see clearly from the graph, it is length and breadth of a rectangle OABC. So, this is area of rectangle OABC. From this, we can say that in velocity time graph, the area enclosed by the velocity time curve and the time axis gives the distance travelled by the body. In this case, the area enclosed by the velocity time curve AB and the time axis OC is the area of rectangle OABC.